what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? 31-year-old Aaron Campbell, an inmate who went viral after exposing the conditions at FCI Elkton, a low-security prison in Ohio, has gone missing. Backstory. Aaron, on a cell phone, went live on Facebook from someone else's account and gave his account of the conditions inside of the prison. He showed a number of people, inmates, that were inside that appeared to be sick. Two he identified as having the disease COVID-19. He said that three people had already died and others were about to die. He said that he only had one year left on an eight year drug sentence and he was not trying to die inside of that prison, but if he did, he wanted it to be known what had happened. He wanted everybody to get it out to the media and it got out. Not only did CNN get it, his intended target, but everybody got it. And now his family is very concerned about his health about his life. They don't know where he is. Some are saying that he could be in isolation like 89 other inmates. Others are thinking that perhaps the worst could have happened to him. After all, it is prison in Ohio, in America. He is black. What do you think happened, family? Where do you think he is? I was going to say that I don't think that they would be that stupid, but they would be that arrogant. I was going to say, you know, they, they can't be that stupid where they would do something, bring harm to their dude, knowing that the world is really watching now. But, man, the way they took out an old dude a few weeks ago and they knew he was innocent. They killed him anyway, the guy that was on death row. People just do what they want to do with impunity. I don't know. I hope that dude is just in the hole. I hope that they're just punishing, punishing him for using the cell phone, which he said he didn't give a damn. He was like, man, I want this to get out. I need y'all to share this video. It got shared. So hopefully that's all is going on with dude. Hopefully that, you know, he's just somewhere in the hole being punished and, you know, he'll resurface soon. But he did get his word out. He did get the word out. He got the message out and People are looking into what's going on. A lot of human rights act, uh, advocates are, has descended on the prison. And people are asking questions. They want to know what's going on with the inmates. Now, I know some of you could care less because you're perfect. And, you know, your idea of life is, hey, man, don't make mistakes and Nothing bad will ever happen to you. Like your life, the way you live your life is that you never make mistakes. You've never done anything wrong. And you're not going to do anything wrong. Not only are you never going to do anything to get you thrown in jail, but the people that you love the most will never do anything to get them thrown in jail. Because y'all got that moral thing down pat. I don't think it's a good idea to ignore those who are in prison. You know, just besides the whole humanity thing, you know, that little thing they call humanity? Empathy? Practically, it don't make sense because those people are going to reintegrate into society. 
they will hit the streets. Now, what kind of people do you want to be on the streets? What kind of attitude do you want them to have when they get back to the streets? Oh, it's easy to say, well, you know, they better get the right attitude. They come across me, I'm going to kill them. You may not get the shot. Maybe you, you can protect yourself, but what about your grandmother? What about your, your wife, your daughter, your small child, you know, your son? What about your good friend? Everybody ain't able. We got to look out for each other. People make mistakes. I'm sure you can relate to that. I mean, if you really want it is, really, really look in the mirror and say to yourself, you know, I think I've made a mistake in life before and I want it to be forgiven. Not to say that you shouldn't be punished for your mistake, like that you shouldn't pay for a mistake. But there should always be room for more flexibility. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?